Here's how I make Instagram stories in Final Cut Pro as a beginner. I'll show you how to set up the correct way so the Instagram gods smile upon you. Then I'll show you how to edit your stories, including an unknown tip straight from the top. Thanks, suck. Next, I'll share the export settings you've got to use if you want the best upload quality. And be sure to watch till the end because I'm gonna give you some free stickers to spice up your Instagram stories. Okay, the first thing to do is to set up your video vertical style. So in Final Cut Pro, go up to File, New, then Project, or just press Command N to create a new project. Let's give it a name. And under video format, let's change it to vertical. Then under resolution, select 1080 by 1920. This is what Instagram recommends you use. Then set your frame rate. Typically you'll match this with whatever you shot your video in. So I'll leave it at 23.98. Next, I'll press OK. And you'll see we have a vertical video project ready for us to edit. But before we edit it, I wanna show you how to convert a regular video to a vertical video. So I'm gonna open up this video project I have right here. You can see it's a regular video project, but I wanna use it as an Instagram story. So what can I do? What a lot of people will do is they'll select the project, they'll go over to the inspector. If you don't see it open, just click on this button with the three sliders, and then they'll go to the info inspector and they'll click on modify. Then they'll change the video format to vertical and then they'll press okay, but don't do that. There's a better way. Let's cancel that and right click on the project we want to convert and select duplicate project as. We'll give it a name and then we'll change the video format to vertical and now we have this option right here called Smart Conform. We'll enable that. With that enabled, Final Cut analyzes the video and then it adjusts the video to put the action in the center of the vertical video. It saves us a lot of time in editing. I'll change the resolution to 1080 by 1920 and then I'll click on OK. Final Cut's finished it, so I'll double click on it to open it. And you'll see here that it's moved that video clip of the plane to be in the center. If we select the video clip and go to the inspector, the video inspector, we can see right here position has been changed by 15 pixels to put the plane in the center. And it's done the same for the boat. It didn't do as good a job with this video clip. But that's okay because we can manually adjust it. I'll select the clip and then I'll just click and drag on this to move the airplane to the center. There we go. All right, let's edit our vertical video. Let's add some footage first to our project. I have a vertical video here of a snowboard flip. So I'll select my clip and then I'll set my in and out points by skimming it and pressing I, and then I'll skim a little bit more and press O for out. And now I can just drag and drop my video clip into the timeline like so. Let's add one more video clip. Here is a clip of a snowboarder. So I'll select the part I want and then I'll press E to quickly add it to the end of my project. So now you see we've got our vertical video of the flip and then a regular video of a snowboarder. But I don't like how this looks. I want it to fill the screen. So I'll select my video and then I'll go to the inspector and I can do a couple different things here. I can use scale to make it bigger and then position to change it. Or I can right click in the viewer and select transform and I can do the same thing. I can move the video around and if I click on one of these corners, I can change the size of it as well. But there's a better way we can do that without scaling too big and losing resolution. So I'll click reset and then done. And then in the inspector, I'll go to the bottom where it says spatial conform. Let's change it from fit to fill. And now I can use the position parameters here to adjust where it is in the screen. All right, that looks way better. So now we have our flip video and then we have a vertical video of this guy snowboarding. Let's change the duration of this clip. I want it to start here. So I'll move my playhead right here and then I'm going to press option left bracket to trim it to that start point and then I want to end it right here. I'll press option right bracket to trim it. I also want to change the order. I want the flip to happen after this. So I'll click and drag my clip to move it after this clip. All right now we're snowboarding along and then we cut to the flip. When you're making an Instagram story be careful not to put major elements at the bottom or the top of the screen. Check this out. So this is from Facebook or, you know, they own Instagram. And here is what they recommend down here. They say, consider leaving roughly 250 pixels at the top and 340 pixels at the bottom of the video free from text, logos, or other key elements because your, the profile icon or call to action will get covered up there. So just keep that in mind when you're editing and making a video. Before I show you those cool custom stickers, I gotta know, am I doing a good job? Am I helping you create Instagram stories? If so, will you please give this video a like? Now let's add some spice to your videos. All right, let's spice this up a little bit. Go to the tile browser by clicking on this button in the upper left corner, then go down to the social section. Let's add this lower third fun to our project. I'm gonna drag and drop it onto our project and I want it to start right there, but I want it to end right about here. So with it selected, I'll press option right bracket and it will trim it. And here's what we've got. We've got a nice little lower third that animates in and then off but it's down in the space that we shouldn't really cover up. 
So let's move it up and out of the way. There we go. I also want it to be centered. So I'll open up the video inspector and let's go to the title inspector by clicking on this button and let's do title layout centered. There we go. And now we can change our text. Now our Instagram story has a little bit more spice to it. Final Cut Pro comes with a ton of titles and effects and transitions. But if you get bored of those, I wanna show you something that I made. This is a plugin called Moment Pop. It's a pack of 60 titles built specifically for Instagram stories. And if you're interested in it, I'll put a link in the description below. All right, so I can drag and drop one of these templates onto my story and we'll make it short. I'll go to the end, option right bracket to trim it. And let's update the font. I'll select this and we'll go to the font inspector. Let's look for rock salt, perfect. All right, now we can change this font as well or these words. If we go to the text inspector, we can change a lot of other things on here too. We can change the color of the bars. We'll do a light purple up there and a dark purple down there. Cool. Let's select this text and let's change the color of that. We'll go down here to face. Let's do a white. There we go. Now these are built specifically for Instagram stories so they fit it exactly. So here's how that looks. Got a nice professional animation in just a few clicks. All right, now let's add some music. Let's go back to our browser and let's find some good music to go with this. Here's a high energy song. I'll just drag and drop it to my timeline and let's make it a little bit longer to fit. Perfect. And if I hover over the end, I can grab the fade handle and I can fade it out towards the end. So it fades out instead of an abrupt ending. And now we can adjust the volume. I'll select the music and then I'll press control minus to lower the volume one decibel at a time. That looks good. All right, now we're ready to share our story and upload it to Instagram. So we'll click on this share destinations up here and click on add destination. Drag export file over here to the left-hand side, select it, then press enter to change the name to stories. Then press enter again. For format, change it to computer. And then video codec, change it to better. And resolution, let's do the highest we can go. That way, Final Cut will automatically choose the most resolution we can have based on our project settings. AAC format is perfect, that's what Instagram wants. Let's uncheck chapter markers, and for action, let's just do save only. Then we'll click close, and now come back up to the share destination and select your stories. Click next, give your video a name, and then click save. All right, here is our story. All right, let's add a sticker to our video. Let's go to the title browser and go down to Sign Pop. Don't worry if you don't have this yet. In a minute, I'm gonna show you how to get it for free. This is a pack of different icons, symbols, and stickers. Let's add this trophy one. I'll click and drag and drop it to my timeline. And then let's trim it right here, option right bracket. And now you can see this trophy right here in the middle. I have these on-screen controls. I can change the size with this one. Let's make it a little bit smaller and I can move it around. Let's put it right here in the corner. And then I want to rotate it just a little bit. There we go. If we go to the title inspector, we can change the color. Let's change it to match our purple. And then to change the one on there, that's some text. So I'll click on it and select it. And then I'll go down here to face and I'll select dark purple. If we go back to the title inspector, you can see we can also change the in and out animations. Let's make it scale or grow and then let's make it fade out. I can also add a drop shadow on here to make it pop off the screen a little bit more. All right, let's check it out. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. All right, I put all these stickers and symbols into my all-star pack. It's a collection of 99 titles, effects, and transitions built exclusively for Final Cut Pro. It's worth $138, but I wanna give it to you for free. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. Happy editing.